Good morning. I am here today for bed talk number 36, I believe, number 36. And I'm sure you have mixed emotions because for some of you, you're happy that I'm back doing my bed talks from bed where they belong. And some of you are disappointed because the last couple of bed talks or so-called bed talks were in a very different environment. I got away for a few days. I was on the beach and you either loved experiencing the beach or you said, I don't want to see that anymore because it makes me feel bad somehow. So whether you like it or not, here we are back in bed for bed talk number 36. And today's topic is checking in. Here's something I've realized about the world. As many of you know, I tend to limit my exposure to news, so-called news, whatever. Forget the labels. I spend no more than 10 minutes a day on so-called news. That's what I do. That's what I choose to do. And what I've realized is that the news paints a very broad brush because that's what the news has to do. It occasionally has a story, but most of the time it's a generalization. And what we see going on is we know in our heads that people are suffering, businesses are suffering, situations, they're really challenging situations. But then we also see, well, there's all this stimulus money going out, and there's PPP loans, and there's uh, economic disaster loans out there from the SBA, so everybody must be okay. Here's the truth, not everybody's okay. Yes, they're okay in here. They're, they're alive, they're healthy, they're in good place personally, but financially they may be devastated, or maybe personally they're devastated. I don't know their situation. So the encouragement is to reach out to people you know and check in. Just check in and really genuinely from your heart ask, how are you doing? How are you navigating all of this? Not because you're digging, but because you care enough to create a safe space for them to share what's going on. I talked to one of my closest friends last week and he was sharing with me that he's been in business for 30 years. And for the first time in 30 years, he's saying, man, I don't know if we're going to stay in business. I don't know. Now, he just happened to got a PPP loan, which will cover some of his costs, but his monthly nut is a massive amount of money. And some of you have never owned your own business. The reality is there are businesses that are closing every day. And you may say, oh, well, it doesn't affect me. But it does. It affects the whole it affects not only the economy, but the energy of our economy, especially in this country. So check in with people around you and do it deeply, sincerely, from the heart. How are they doing? Be willing to dig a little bit to see if they trust you enough to share what's really going on. I know for me, I've been sharing pretty openly, and but I have a small group of people that I share with you know, that deeper struggle, the things I challenge with. I have to tell you, my business, actually I've decided to reframe it, not my business, but my cash flow. My cash flow has been devastated the last eight weeks now. And unless and until I create some new revenue streams, that's going to continue. That's real. And I have emotions about that. Sometimes I'm sad, sometimes I'm scared. Most of the time I'm in action as I tend to be towards creating the innovative approach, that new idea, the different way of doing things, go virtual, whatever it takes. Love that phrase, whatever it takes. But take a moment to check in with people and ask that next level of questions. Because what I've learned is that people are looking for a safe place to share what's really going on for them. So will you be one of those safe places for the people in your life, whether it's personal, professional, relational, doesn't matter. Will you be one of those safe places? So reach out, check in with people you care about and let them experience you from a non-judgmental, really vulnerable place yourself to give them the place to be vulnerable as well. It's needed, folks. What's happening is real right now. And all the general news in the world doesn't change the reality of what's happening with individuals and businesses and employees and relationships and families right now. That's my offer. Check in. 
Do it sincerely and vulnerably, and I'll see you tomorrow.